Okay, so one common dilemma that happens when we're doing RoboCode is getting stuck in the wall. And it's super annoying. It's annoying to you as the programmer because you're saying, no, don't do that. You know, get away from the wall. But you just keep ramming into it over and over again. And it's annoying for everybody else who's in the battle uh, or watching because it just sits there and goes da, 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 over and over again. Makes this really annoying noise. People celebrate when the bot finally blows up. And so we don't want that. We want to fix that problem. And so how do we do it? Let's take a look. So when I hit a wall, an on hit wall event is generated. Again, this comes from the, the RoboCode API. One of the events that is generated is when we hit a wall for us so that we know when that happens. So on hit wall, it calls this method. And what's generated for us is a hit wall event. And so there's a class type that's been created called a hit wall event. And when we hit a wall, the event is generated and passed to us so that we can have the information about that event. And so I can go to the hit wall event by either clicking on this or over here in the library of um, all the things that all the classes that belong to the RoboCode library. I can click on the hit wall event. And again, I can get here by in RoboCode, clicking on help, and then RoboCode API will pop up that window for me. All right, so I can click on the hit wall event, which this just links to this. And so in here, I can see what information is being passed in that object to me. And as it turns out, it gets the bearing of the wall I hit in degrees, or I can get the bearing in radians. And it used to be that I could get the bearing in degrees, but that's been deprecated. And so I can get, the, now it's just called get bearing. And so I can get the bearing of the wall I hit. Now, if we just watch this work, so I like to get in and use the, um, we can use the, the, the log to keep track of information and print it out for us so we can debug and, and figure things out. So I can put in here and say system.out.println and say um, the bearing of the wall, and then I'll close that string literal, I'll concatenate on here, and then I'm going to get the bearing. So the, the method is to get the bearing. And so I say get bearing. All right, so then I try compiling this. And I'll save it. And I get an error. And I look at it, what the error is. And the error says, um, somewhere in here, where was it? Uh, get bearing doesn't exist. I don't recognize that. Can't find symbol. And that's because if I look at the API and I look at the robot class, there is no get bearing in here. The bearing doesn't belong to the robot class. It belongs to the instance of the object that was sent to me about that wall collision. So hit wall event is going to be passed in and we're referring to that information as E. So I would say E dot get bearing, but the E is incidental. I could just say blah dot get bearing if I wanted to get bearing. It doesn't matter. This is the name that I'm using internally to call it as it's passed to me. So it bundles up this hit wall event with the information about the bearing and passes it to me. And this is the name that I'm giving it. And the default is to just use E and that's fine. So E dot get bearing. All right. So if I log that, then if I save this and recompile, then I should compile successfully. And in the game now, and I'm going to make myself hit the wall even easier. So I'm going to say 300 to try to get us so we're hitting a wall on a regular basis. And I'll, so I better compile again, compile. And then I'll come into this battle, start a new battle. And I've got myself RoboCode fun in with a few different robots. And I'll start this battle. Well, I'm on high speed. Let's, let's tone that down a little bit, down to 30. And so we can see it actually work. And then I'll restart. Now I'm going to back up and I hit a wall. Now currently it's not logging anything, and even if I look at the main battle log, it's not logging anything in relation to my robot. The log for my robot is by clicking on my robot, and then it will pop up the log. And it tells me the bearing of the wall in that case was 131. Let's try it again. I'll click on this to bring up my log again. And it's telling me it's 142 in this case. That's the bearing of my bot to the wall. 
And so if we look at that bearing, let's go back to the API for a second uh, for that hit wall event. And then I say, click on click get bearing. It tells me it's gonna give me the bearing relative to my robot's heading in degrees. Negative 180 up to the bearing and, or the, the sorry, negative 180 uh, up, up to zero and then zero to 180 and it, or, yeah, positive 180. And so it depends on which way my robot's facing. So as I look at this and, and watch it work, I hit into the wall. When I'm looking at a bearing, it's relative to my heading. My heading is zero. And so we're saying this line becomes zero. What's the bearing in relation to that heading? And so it's not the overall bearing for the board. It's the bearing for my robot in particular. And so as I back up here, I'm gonna hit this wall and then it's gonna tell me, maybe, come on, hit. All right, oh, I forgot to click on the thing. So it's telling me the bearing is 119 degrees. So anything, this is zero, my heading is zero. Anything this way is positive down to 180. And then anything this way is negative down to negative 180. And so as I hit this wall and get that, what's happening, you just see it over and over again. It's going bam, 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 bam. Every time it hits, my current method is to back up another 20, which is just hitting me into the wall again. And so that's why we get kind of this loop effect of, uh, you know, bam, 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 bam. It's just backing up and hitting again and hitting again and hitting again. And so we want to solve this. And so again, I'm hitting here. Now I'm hitting at negative 177. So zero's here. And I'm hitting with that back left edge of the robot. And so 177 is all the way around negative, negative one, negative two, negative three, all the way around to negative 177 is where I'm hitting that wall. And so one really simple fix for hitting the wall, and understanding how this board is, now in and where the bearings are in relation to our heading i'll go ahead and stop that let's go into our robot editor if i hit the wall i can still print that for fun to get the bearing but i could i could say instead go ahead by 100 but what if i'm hitting it with my front and then i just keep hitting into the wall forward and forward and forward again i have to figure out how to move away from the wall and so now understanding how this system works, where anything to my left is negative numbers down to 180, and anything to my right is positive numbers down to 180, I could say this, I could do something like this. I could say, if my if, if the bearing of the wall, so I'm gonna say e.getBearing. So if the bearing of the wall is, um, in front of me. So if the bearing of the wall is in front of me, so what would that be? Wouldn't that be if it's greater than negative uh, 90 and, so that an and in Java is two ampersands, e dot get bearing is less than I should probably use equals there, huh? So greater than or equals to negative 90, or the get bearing is, or and the get bearing is less than 90 positive, meaning if it's in front of me, then I want to do what? If the wall's in front of me, then I wanna go back by 50, or whatever the number is, right? And then I could either use an else or I could use the other logic for the sake of time, I'll say else. Otherwise, we go ahead by 50. And so now, as I hit the wall, now I'll end up hitting it again and again. But as I compile and run this, then when I back into the wall, it's gonna move away from the wall and I won't keep going into it because everything in front of me uh, well, if I hit the wall behind, I'll move forward. And if I hit the wall in front, I'll move back. Now, this is a simple way to fix that. Let's maybe look at something fancier in the next video. Spencer out.